Arbol Tomatillo Salsa to invigorate any taco. The next page in our taco manual is a salsa, not a taco, and it's an arbol chile salsa. And you might be wondering is like, how is this different than the bold arbol chile salsa that I've made before? Well, that bold arbol chile salsa is something that is so explosive that you just put little droplets of it on the taco that you're gonna eat. This gives you that really bright arbol flavor and that spice, but a little more diluted because this one's going to have roasted tomatillos in it. I'm gonna show you my, this is a very classic salsa, but I'm gonna show you my favorite way to get all the flavors together. So number one, we're gonna start here with arbol chiles. You can find them in any Mexican grocery store. And for this recipe, we're going to need a half an ounce. That will be anywhere between 16 and 25 chiles. A lot of times people throw all this stuff in a blender and just blend it. I like to develop all the flavors, um, something that I've learned from a lot of market vendors. And so toasting the chilies is going to be my first step in developing flavors. I've got an ungreased skillet here over medium heat and I've already heated it up. I'm gonna put the chilies in there and then I'm just gonna kind of toss them around until they release their aroma. That will take some place around 30 to 60 seconds here. You will see just a little bit of coloring happening on those, but mostly you'll get the aroma. So that's all we need for the toasting of those to develop a lot of flavor. And then under hot tap water, we will rehydrate them. I always like to do that under a plate so that they rehydrate really evenly. In the same skillet over medium, I'm gonna put six cloves of garlic. The sweetness of roasted garlic against the spicy brightness of the chile de arbol, I think is a really beautiful balance. These are gonna take about 15 minutes or so to, um, to roast. They'll be blotchy black in spots, but what we're really looking for is that they're completely soft all the way through. That tells us that they are completely roasted and they won't have any of the harsh garlic flavor. Um, the last thing that we're gonna do is work with some, the tomatillos here. Um, I have already pulled the papery skins off of all the rest of them. Um, if you haven't ever worked with them before, they will come with that papery skin. You'll just get rid of that. And then I'm gonna slide these under the broiler to roast them, my preferred method. So I'm gonna slide them in here. And after about six minutes or so, when they're blotchy black on top as well, I'll turn them over, roast them for another six minutes or so, then let them cool down. I'll meet you back here when everything is ready. Okay, let's make salsa. The first thing that I'm gonna put into the blender jar is the soaked arbol chiles. Second thing that's going to go in there is all of the tomatillos. Now you can see that there's a lot of juice here on the baking sheet. I'm going to put all of that juice in there as well because it is so jam packed with flavor and it's a very sweet flavor. So you want to get all of that in there. And then the last thing that we have to put in here is the garlic. So I've peeled that garlic already, but you'll notice that once it's cooled off after the roasting process, you can peel that papery skin off very easily. All that is going to go onto the blender base, top on. And for this salsa, we make a smooth puree. Well, the first thing that you'll notice is that it, this salsa has turned from that sort of olive green color of roasted tomatillo to a kind of rusty color because of the arbol chiles. This is a very, very common salsa in taquerias, especially in central Mexico. So I'll put that there, give it a little bit of water first 
to give it the right consistency. So I want it, it's kind of a spicy salsa because our bowls are, that's their role in life is to be spicy and bright. So we wanna give it the consistency that can easily be spooned on a taco. And then I'm going to add, um, I'm just gonna start with a measured amount of salt. This is like a scant teaspoon that's gonna go in here. So I'll put that in there. That's usually what it takes. And then I'm going to taste it because this salsa, because of the tomatillos that are in there, sometimes wants to have just a little touch of sugar to balance the acidity of the tomatillos. Not this version. It's got a nice, sweet, tangy balance. That's what I'm looking for. That really beautiful, bright heat that you get only from the Arbol Chiles. This you're going to love.